All right, family, it's your brother Assad, and I am back again with another quick video. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notifications bell so that you'll be notified when we drop new material on this channel. Secondly, in terms of housekeeping, I got to give a special and a significant and a particular and a peculiar shout out to my South African family for all the love you guys have shown this channel, my wife, myself, my children. We greatly appreciate it. Third, in terms of housekeeping, bam, 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 just like that. Bam, 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 just like that. I got to give a special and a significant and a particular and a peculiar shout out to the rest of the family, to the Kenyan family, because we in Kenya right now. Well, I'm in Kenya. Adrian is in SA. So, to the Kenyan family, to the Tanzanian family, we're going to give a, a Ethiopian, Eritrean, all of the East African families. Shout out to y'all. To the Texas family, the Louisiana family, the New Orleans family, because that's two separate things. We see y'all, we appreciate y'all, and we love y'all for watching. Fourth, in terms of housekeeping, bam, 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 just like that. Find home again November 1st. Find home again November 1st. Be on the lookout. The book will be released November 1st. That's two days from now, something like that. But I am here in Nairobi, Kenya, and we're going to see what's shaking. Poke chops are baking. You understand what I'm saying? I'll let you peep. So I just made it to the hotel room, uh, and this is how it looks. Nothing too, too fancy. And let's see how the bathroom looks. Yeah. All right, all right. What is this over here? That's the shower. So the shower, <laughs> the toilet. <laughs> That's different. That's different. So, yeah, we are in Nairobi. And uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> All right. So, we are at the mall. All right. I don't know if we could film because I know they'd be having rules against filming and stuff. Look like a little health food store, a healthy store. All right. All right, let's see what's shaking in the in the mall now. I don't even know the name of this Westgate, West Hill, something. All right, I see the Aki's over there. Man, look, I'm about to give me some dreadlocks. You hear me? <laughs> yeah, they got all the hell. Look, they got the blue hair. Yeah. With a red for sexy red hair. That's the look. Sexy red even on the thing. No, I'm playing. Look, got the red hair. <laughs> that's now that's crazy. Let's see. So this is another little area of the mall. Yeah. Here. That's the name of the mall right there. Westgate E. Or West. I don't know why that E lies. At the end of a sentence. Don't make no, I mean at the end of the word. Why you capitalize the E? Make it make sense. So this is the little hotel. And this is one of the buildings. I don't know why it's lit up in Mardi Gras colors. And look like it's Mardi Gras. They got Mardi Gras in, in Nairobi. Yeah. Huh? Well yeah, this is where we at. About to give me something to eat. At the little restaurant here. So I had to switch hotels. I got a little bougie, y'all. I ain't, I ain't the same as I used to be. I used to rough it. The other little place was a little too much for me, but this one fire. So got its own little kitchen. In fact, it even has a scullery. Let's see if we could. Has a scullery. You know, iron and everything in here, and washing machine. And that looks like you're safe right there or something. All right. And then we have, I don't know why the picture's crooked, but this is actually a nice place. Uh, and we got the AC popping in this thing. You hear me? And this inside is the bedroom. 
Yeah, so I got a little bougie. That last little place was, it was giving me the ick. You know what I'm saying? It was cool, but no. Oh, I was going to say something? Yeah. All right, all right. Oh, y'all about to jump? Come on, y'all. We're going to jump? Yeah, yeah. 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 And they hear that, they hear that. Doing all that jumping. <laughs> that was a lot. All right, thank you, my brothers. Let me give you that. issue of these diaspora wars mm. that are taking place um, and I, I'll, I'll frame it this way it is in many ways it is not as disheartening as it may seem because at least we're talking mm -hmm. for centuries we haven't spoken mm -hmm. and now the internet has given us the opportunity to, and what I mean we haven't spoken here's, here's, here's what I'm saying Gil Scott Heron. Anybody familiar with Gil Scott? Oh, I guess not. Okay. <laughs> so, right. Okay. So Gil Scott Heron was a poet uh, and a singer, and he was a revolutionary, right? Well, a, a, and he he was on Saturday Night Live. I'm sure you guys have heard of Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live is hosted by Richard Pryor, who at the time. Um, was the biggest comedian in the world, African-American, Richard Pryor, all black eyes in America are about to be watching Richard Pryor on Saturday Night Live. The musical guest is Gil Scott Heron. The song he sings is What's the Word, Johannesburg. This is doing apartheid. When we say what's the word, we want to hear everybody. We want to hear everybody. Today, today for those of you who don't know, um, when Nelson Mandela was moved into a hospital, uh, he's not been feeling well lately. But we're hoping that the international community will make its feelings known. I mean, in some fashion, write your, write your senator, write your, 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 your knight, your day, whoever the fuck it is. I mean, write, write somebody, say something to someone. It's very important that we stand somewhere on this and we say, let the brother go. Let the brother go. Let the brother go. I said, what's the way? Tell the woman, have you heard, heard about your head and bird? Come on now. Somebody said, what's the way? Tell the woman, have you heard, heard about your head and bird? Tell me that our brothers are over there. Yes, I, I hate it when the blood starts going here. But I'm glad to see resistance going here. I say, what's the word? Tell me, woman, have you heard, heard about your head and bird? And somebody said, what's the word? Tell me, brother, have you heard, heard about your head and bird? Right? He is a song that's literally saying we are reaching out to our brothers in Johannesburg. Please tell us what's going on because the news won't tell us. We are here for you. We want to fight alongside of you. I moved to South Africa two years ago and I asked people had they ever heard the song and never even heard of it. Yeah. Right? So we had not been communicating. So now the, the, the diaspora wars are at least us starting to have these conversations, tough conversations that need to take place. Right? Um, but at least we're talking. And furthermore, the, they're, you know, these diaspora wars are not taking place with Chinese or uh, Pakistanis. It's only between these black people. So obviously there's a recognition that we are related, yeah. that we are family, and that we need to have this family feud or whatever have you, and then get over it and move on. All right, in the club action. Hey, go. <laughs> hey. 